We didn't think the Acolyte could take Star Wars in the new direction that they are now pushing, but it certainly seems their Force baby that was a uh, woman in a huddle session uh, coming together and creating a baby through the Force. Well, The Acolyte, episode three review, boring, drawn out, nonsensical garbage. Cosmic book news here gives it a zero. I don't know what they're out of is, but it's that bad. This show is so bad that on my way home from work, the radio was talking how bad Star Wars The Acolyte is. That's how bad this show is. Nobody wanted this. It absolutely craps on George Lucas's vision of what Star Wars was. And this is no longer recognizable. Anyway, before we get fully into the article here in the video, do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel. We're ever pushing upwards and onward and help me reach that 3000 mark very, very soon. Rumors are right, Star Wars is dead. Did we need to dedicate an entire episode to the backstory of May and Osha? Something that probably could have been done in a five minute flashback. There are only eight episodes this season. So with three already done and there's five left, did we just need to waste an episode on the past, especially when Jack and shit it happens so the first two episodes may wants revenge of, uh, on the four jedi why well i thought they killed her family and the village which was insulated makes sense as that is why that one jedi committed suicide right which doesn't make sense, but it let's pretend for the sake of the show. The four Jedi must have done something terribly wrong, an atrocity. Well, it turns out much like the first two episodes, the Jedi didn't do anything. They simply showed up and asked to test the children. Then May flips her lid, starts a fire and she kills everyone. Now, is there a twist where when the fire started, the Jedi killed all the witches? I'd be down for that. Was anyone else hoping that the Jedi showed up? The head which took control of the Padawan, it would be a lightsaber time? Nope, didn't happen. Aren't the dead of the witches dark side users? And that generally was what I would suggest, that the witches were more Sith oriented for this type of thing. Also, three episodes in and no lightsaber action. Speaking of, this is called Star Effing Wars, and this show is really light on action. Episode three had zero effing action. What the F? This is Star Wars after all. It's now a soap opera. It's now presented to you by the CW. I also, again, feel like the Jedis are effing useless. Notice how one witch mom says something like, there are only four Jedi, no one will miss them, huh? Only four effing Jedi, are you kidding me? Do any of these Jedi live up to Anakin, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, Mace Windu, Luke, or even Ahsoka? The Jedi in the Acolyte aren't Jedi, and the Acolyte isn't Star Wars. And that's pretty much where it is now. Now, the rumors were right. Now, regarding with the George Lucas rumor, yes, Shory Shills, the rumors were right. The episode reveals two lesbian witches use the Force to create May and Osha. It also revealed the Darth Maul wannabe carried the twins, yet they look like nothing like her, more resemble other mom. The other mom, who possibly doesn't share genetics with the girls, well, that must be the Force work. Exactly as I said, what Kathleen Kennedy, Leslie Headland, and Dave, I sold out for Yoni, did to the retcon Star Wars and make Lucas' story no longer relevant or special. Power to the power of many. The power of one. The power to two. The power of many. What the fuck was that? That, that that's not star wars that's supposed to be the witches if you've watched any of the rebels or any of the clone wars cartoons though they, they go into more detail with the witches that was some feminist nightmare 
group session where they go out into the middle of the woods and beat on trees. You know, like the one that they show down here, uh, this one right here. That's what that was. It, it, it's funny, I'm bringing this up. I know it's nerd Roderick that has this, but Elon Musk even responded with the absolute cringe happy face, laughing its ass off right now. This show is a joke. It, it, it's an absolute joke. It's a travesty to even know that this is a Star Wars show. I already covered this in other videos, how the reviews are absolutely abysmal, but now this has gone out there into the world and everyone out there in the world is seeing what this truly is what disney has now done to star wars this was the type of thing that people were scared of when they first bought george lucas's star wars when disney first bought them everyone was like they're going to completely destroy this franchise then they came out with the three prequel movies had proper input did a couple things that were kind of risque which would be jar jar binks but they never went this far. They never went this far with the show. And now that they have, there is no turning back. The show is completely dead, ruined. And this is what we all feared back when they purchased Star Wars from George Lucas. And probably the biggest takeaway on this from Star Wars theory, Palpatine had such a hard time cloning Force sensitives until Mod Garden Gideon with all his power, knowledge of the Force, and unlimited resources, as well as the inability to create life. And Force-sensitive life, mind you, which is even more impossible. The Sith, Jedi, Kaminoanians, Mother Ta Talzin, Witches of Darth Omal, Mern, Darth Plagueis, Anakin, and the Empire couldn't do it. Random witches pulling a couple threads of the force equals two conceived, two force sensitive children, so powerful that the Jedi sense and track down across the galaxy. At what point do we say, what the fuck? That's the show right now. Everything that led up to this saying, you can't do this in the, in the show, the whole arc of Anakin, the whole promise that Palpatine gave Anakin was that you could preserve life, you could rescue your life, you could create life, you could do all these things with the dark side. And now we have this crap. We have the crap of random witches just suddenly giving birth. That's the forces female for Kathleen Kennedy. And I don't even know what else to say to this. It's absolutely junk. The show is done. You, just forget this it even exists and uh let's move on with our lives i guess say goodbye to star wars because this is where it is now anyway i've been your proud Canadian phoenix cinder shadow i'm signing off here help me reach a goal of 3,000 subscribers and subscribe today until next time you guys have a great day thanks for watching <laughs>